So Monica from Spain is asking, I'm currently a waitress, I'm planning to open my restaurants, and one of my pet peeves is when those little monsters come in, when parents bring their kids, and those Tasmanian devil are making a mess inside the restaurant, they're screaming, they're loud, they make a big mess, parents don't scream after them, plus parents don't tip well, what can we do? And we're going to address that in this video in 3, 2, 1, and here we go! Hello everybody, my name is Sham, I'm in the community as a responsible restaurant owner, and since 2008, I've been opening and running restaurants out of the Silicon Valley, California, and toward the end of 2017, I decided to go out there and little much, pretty much help other people in the industry. Monica from Spain, uh, muchas gracias and bienvenidos. Um, yes, uh, certain restaurants do not have a policy about not accepting kids, so that is part of the business. They will come in. They will make a mess, they will be screaming, running everywhere, the parents are already exhausted by being parents 24-7, and uh, it's going to be a hazard, so definitely let the parents know from the get-go. Uh, please, there is lots of hot plates, there is lots of knives and sharp objects, it's going to be kind of a dangerous situation. But the thing that really has worked best for me out of pretty much 10 years, working 20 hours a day, is I will just talk to the kids as uh, grown-ups. You'll be amazed at how much attention they will give you and how much they're listening and most of the time those little monsters are just trying to see how much they can uh, get away with so from the time they come in they will be actually be the first ones i will greet hello little man what's your name you know and see if they actually can be uh if they can comprehend or not and ask them if this is the first time being here and i will address them like i would address everybody else in the table and they feel like grown-ups and most of the time it will entice them to behave a little bit better now let's say you do that talk you go in and the next thing you know they're dropping fries on top of each other and spraying ketchup everywhere well just let them know that this is not good and you know and remove it from them you know if the parents are not taking actions you know and, uh, and, and you know, you can always ask for the help of the manager, but most of the time people are pretty reasonable if you are lucky, you know, and uh, just talking to the kids and giving them something to be entertained with. They will always have some flashy lights, some restaurants do have like uh, papers and napkins and, you know, and little colors that they can play with. Uh, you know, I always like to have some extra little goodies in the restaurant, little trays, little objects that they can play with. And it's just a matter of checking on them on a regular basis. Most of the time, like adults, as soon as you stop checking on them, then they will start throwing the tantrums. Kids are pretty much like the same as adults. And most of the time, this will help you out. When it comes to them, <clears throat> sorry, not tipping properly, in my book, that is unacceptable. You worked way too hard. This is the way you make your living, especially if you're from the Americas, they get paid way below minimum wage and they make a living based on tips. So whenever a table with kids or without it doesn't give me tips, I will go after them and I will say, uh, excuse me, sir, uh, you know, I hope you had a good time. Yes, did you have a good time? Well, you know, you just tipped me like 10 percent. And uh, what went wrong? You know, we make a living based on tips. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I want to make sure that you had a good time, that you're going to find a reason to come back and explain to me what went on. And eight times out of 10, people will be confused, embarrassed, and will be like, oh, I didn't know. Uh, I'm from a different culture. I thought I did more. Uh, I miscomputed. I miscalculated, blah, 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 whatever excuse. So just feel free to let them know. Now, sometimes you may not be able to see that after the guests have left. Definitely talk to your manager and ask them if there is any way for them to print tipping guidelines on the check you give to the uh, guests. It actually works wonders. This is 10%, this is 15%, this is 20%. And most of the time, that will overall boost the tips for the entire restaurant. So, Monica from Spain, uh, muchas gracias uh, for contacting me. I hope that this was helpful. And uh, thank you for choosing a uh, profession when you make the life of others better. And until we meet again, it's Osham, the responsible restaurant owner. Uh, on the comment section, please let me know how it went, if that method does work, or if you have a better method so the community can benefit from it. And until we meet again, remember the secret ingredient is love, baby. It's love. Yes, absolutely.